What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We are, well I got my jersey on, tournament fishing is upon us. We've already went through one tournament this season. It was Red Crest, but the actual regular season is about to start and we are here at basically the MLF production day. And what that is, is basically we go in here and grab a photo, grab a picture of our truck and boat. So you gotta wash it up, get it all clean and nice, and then get ready for the season to start. So this is the practice vlog. We're gonna get in here and knock this out. And then we're gonna take you guys along with us. We gotta maybe look at the lake a little bit. And let's see what DC, DC picked the location of where we're staying. So we're gonna find out how it did. Oh no, we got, yeah. we're right behind that sucker right there. What up Biffle? What are you doing man? Some bath. You doing all right? Good seeing you dude. Good seeing you. Absolutely, all right. So this is all it is, the glory. Just hanging out. We got us, got everybody right here. I'm gonna hang out with my boy Phoenix. Hold up, y'all. We got it. He's gonna try to make me look pretty. It's not gonna be really. <laughs> so I broke the camera, y'all. <laughs> broke the camera right off the get go. And now we gotta swap it up. Josh over here. Hang hey, out. Put this down. Bop, bop, bop. Here you go. All right, I'm gonna have you right in between these lights here. So we broke one. We didn't break the second one. That's a good thing. Hold up. Gotta check in here with Michael. Wait on. Excuse me. Sorry. All right. So just got done. I actually got a nice little security board for Alicia. Sort of whipping something up on that. I don't. I don't know. She one time actually last year she tried to surprise me. She said we're going to the security board class. Yeah. I would. I mean, I was trying to be a good sport. I don't know. You guys might know a little bit about that, but I was just like, ah, it's supposed to be for my birthday too. I was like, well, we can we can have fun with it. Anyway. So we're about to roll out here. You got a picture of the truck and boat, and then head on to the house. So I put the weight out there. So now it's your turn. So this is the deal. We just got back to the house. We just got to the house. Set up right here. We always have a bet. Always bet on the cut. Before we make a cast, practice anything, always make a bet with the, amongst us. Now Mark's not here yet. And, Mar and Adrian somehow always loses. He he made the cut weight last time. I think it was over 40 pounds. I think I put the, the, the weight at 40. It was way under 40, by the way. Hey, you follow. Now, DC, it's your turn to, to figure out the cut weight. So this is what it works. Hold up. So a DC is turn to set the weight. So basically that means within the group, DC makes the weight, and he's the house. So he's got to set the weight over under so if I say, like, say he says 40 pounds, well, so I'm going to be over. Then he's got to take under, and then he's got to pay up. Sort of work out. That's how it is. All right, scissors. All right, so let me think. Uh, 70 pounds is the threshold. That's where that's where we're going to bet this week. 70 pounds. Over or 70 under? 70 pounds. I'm going to say over or under 70. And I'm going to pick. No, you can't pick. You can't pick. I can't pick? No, you're the house. So how do I win? So if we pick over or under, you get the opposite what? So like if I say I over, but you got an under, and Adrian says under, you got over, so you're the house. So this is the thing. You got three guys, so you're all more likely you're going to lose big or you're going to win. You got, you know, you got a good chance because you're the house. Yeah. You got a good chance. <laughs> Well, if it was that case, then I'll just put pick 60 pounds. 60 pounds? Well, we all know it's going to be over 60. Yeah, but yeah, what, 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 let me do a little math real quick. Look, this is almost like the stock market. Like, you can't just go buy stocks without, like, I gotta look at, like, this. I gotta check the news. I gotta check the weather. The weather. Yeah, yeah, check the weather. Yeah, we, we can't put them on the spot. Hey, we'll, we'll, give them, we'll give them till tonight. Tonight at dinner. Tonight at dinner. Yeah, tonight at dinner. Let me ponder on it just a little bit. Let me look at the weather. And then I'll let you guys know. Man, here, Brody, I thought you lost this all along. No, you only lost mine. Wow. <laughs> We're sitting here right now, rigging tackle until I have a lot of rods out. And this is the thing. 
pre-spawn to spawn time of year, really, it, there's a lot of stuff going on. And I, we just had a little bit of a cold front. It's been super hot in Texas, like 80 degrees for 10 straight days. Just looking at the local tournament weights and some of the big tournaments that have been here in the last basically 10 days, they've been crushing them. Unbelievable. So I don't know what this cold front's going to do. It's not a huge cold front, but I'm unsure of what's going to happen with these fish. You know, I would assume there's another wave of fish probably coming up from just from reading some of the public information online, looking through some of that stuff. You know, you can sort of tell they had to be pushed up. There's, I don't know if they're spawning, I would assume so. That's what it seems like. And so that's why I'm just bringing up top waters, you know, flipping sticks, deep crankbaits, jerk baits, everything that I can think of. And I, this is sort of like my preparation time to sort of just be ready as much as possible to where any scenario that I'm dealt with, I have to deal with out there on the water, you just sometimes you go into practice like with pre preconceived notions of like thinking it's going to be one thing and it turns out to be something else. So I want to have a good, well-rounded, you know, arsenal of, of baits and rods ready to go so that I'm ready for anything that happens. Rebooting after a solid supper. <laughs> yeah. Let me okay. sit here. Unreal. We just got on the pond. Literally right now. Whew. Wind is howling. I mean, whip. Beautiful day, to get Brody out here. Beautiful day, bud. <laughs> oh, it's just a wonderful day <laughs> to go out and play. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so here's a quick rundown. We are here at Castle Boinkin, which is in the middle of the lake. It gives me the opportunity to go south, which is more of like the traditional area. There's canyons, there's beach. There's uh, five fingers, a lot of different places that are really, the, I would say the community core area of this lake. And then you have, you know, you go up the river or you go down further to where, a uh, little down towards the dam. Now I feel like this middle section allows me to have a little bit of more diversity and that's the reason I picked this today. Now if the wind keeps up like this, it's gonna be, can be very difficult to actually run around on Sam Raymer. So if this stays like this, I don't know. We're gonna have to do a game plan though. Freaking cow here. Golly, that's what it's about. All right, so the one thing that I try to always do when I, I start practice, especially going to a lake that I've been to before and I have a little bit of experience, the thing is I normally will spend my time the first little bit idling. So we're about 30 minutes before, basically before the official sunup comes out comes up and then we're able to look around a little bit. So I'll spend a little first little bit of time island, whether it's grass, a lot of new grass here right now. There's you know places that look completely different than they did from prior to the, the last couple of times I've been here. So right now we're just gonna try not to get wet for this thing all these ways. This sucker just said, guaranteed to knock his lower unit off. It's a guarantee. Money back guarantee. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't even. That's freaking great. Oh, God. Oh, okay, we gotta get her. We gotta actually start doing something, man. I found it. Oh. Whew. Water's a little stained, boys and girls. I'm assuming it's from the wind. I can see down probably six inches or so. Woo! Hey, this is what a sizzle would call a gosh dang Alberta clipper. <laughs> That's what, I mean, it wouldn't be, it's not an Alberta clipper, but it ain't, it's not good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 
light of the day. Not a not a scoreable. A little rap of OG action cranking over some grass. Good. Hey. Crappie. Crappie gone, man. We on that crappie bag already this morning. Bald eagles fighting in the back room. That bald eagles getting mad at each other. Look at this one coming at you. He wanted that fish, dude. You think I'm joking? Keep on looking, thinking about this place. Water temperature is a lot colder than I anticipated. And that is one thing that I got to think about a little bit. The water's 58 degrees. So that's really pre-spawn spawn. I anticipated the water would be a little bit warmer because it's been 80 degrees over the last basically 10 days until this yesterday and today. So water's probably either dropped a lot. I would assume it had to drop 5 to 10 degrees. Um, I anticipated it to drop even more throughout the next couple of days. So I don't know. I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to sort of process a lot of that information and think about what I need to do. Flip and stick, I have a little mini Carolina. I got, I got a lot of different stuff like we talked about. <laughs> we got a lot of stuff. I'm just grabbing stuff out that I think maybe, I just don't know, man. It's not a guarantee. So you just sort of like have to figure it out as you go. Like this is gonna be one of the practice periods of just constant different baits shallow deep in between and sort of get it get a lot we need to click Probably more wind burn than anything. <laughs> we probably don't have to worry about the sun as much as the wind. Gosh, good. Not what you want to catch when you're coming to Sam Rayburn. Actually, just for some of you guys out there, there are spotted bass in Sam Rayburn. They just never win. <laughs> Not the Coosa River spotted bass. You see DC real little man, but I'm out actually out offshore just trying to sort of fish around out in the middle of the lake. Cranking pretty shallow, shallow offshore. Because a lot of times what'll happen is a lot of these fish will set up on some of these places, and so rather than get caught up on the bank where I know a lot of people are going to be you just got to check the unobvious sometimes really too much let's roll I don't like catching spotted I mean I like catching spotted bass I have nothing against spotted bass we have a two pound minimum Oh gosh dang, I saw one right there. Hold up. Might be a spot. Pop up, pop up, pop up. Crappie. Crappie. Brush pile. Bite on, on her dang loco special. Imagine that. 
Okay. Let's see if we can, we're gonna weigh that sucker to find out. Okay. You do not need to be catching two pounders in this dirt, but. Okay, this guy right here weighs. 115. 115. 115. Non scoreable. So, this fish right here, just to give you guys a little bit of an idea of what we got to fish for this week. This fish right here, now the legal limit here on Sam Rayburn is 14 inches. But with major league fishing, obviously we have minimums. This fish right here is 16, almost a 16 inch bass. 15 and three quarter post spawn. But that's really cool. I mean, that's we have to fish for better than average quality fish. And so that's part of the game. Looking for those fish to be at least two plus pounds. Really, you're gonna need those three in this fours. I've had three bites on this jerk bait, but I'm not I'm not like super dialed in on this deal. Just want to sort of see if I get a couple bites on jerk bait, got a couple bites on crank bait. Really haven't went shallow yet, but it seems like all the boats are up shallow. So I got a vibe that those fish are on the bank, but I just want to want to mess around with this little bit first thing and practice to sort of see if I can get it going, especially with the cold fish. Not a big, that's too bad, I'm sure. caught up.
Bites doing that though, it's a problem. I mean, you know, you got caught up. I put two big ones now out deeper. Caught one score bite, just don't know. But we're gonna go to the bank. All right, y'all, we just went to the bank, got a couple bites, and there's a lot of fish up there. I can just tell, saw a few. Uh, I'm gonna commit to the bank the rest of them and drop Brody off. I don't know what the next day and a half is gonna hold, but we'll keep you guys posted. I'm gonna leave you right here. I might, I might check back in with you and I, we'll see. We'll see. We gotta go find some though, I think. Okay, well that's skinny fish. 110. Non-scorable. He's out there in the middle on this, this wood. Switched to a frog and got a bite. All right, first bite up real shallow. Ooh, there we go, we got a good little backlash. It's all good. So that fish is out there on the isolated stuff. I mean, that fish has been up there for a long time too, so. Hmm, we gotta think about it a little bit. I just had one just absolutely pull me right there. Flip it, bandito bug. Then of course, you get caught up in a, I started went doop. I saw like a good one too. All right, hit the dot, waypoint. Okay, one bite, flipping. So I'm flipping like with basically a bandito, black and blue, five sixteen ounce weight. And I got a screw lock on there so I don't hook them. Literally, if you guys see that video, if you see that little, like, I flip in there and just, like, takes off. Huh. I was like, what? I pick up, it's like, Kunk. I'm like, well, okay then. Golly. This is a dang snaggy son of a gun. Lower that. <laughs> Double down. So do you see how freaking I want a hundred, I want a thousand dollars on it. I'm not saying it won't take 
There might be more. They could. They really could, but it's just interesting because this fish or not is healthy. One of those places is the ones that pulled up, so. It was like one of those deals, like you flip in there, and it was like, Shoop. And I'm like, golly, I had like a dang. But this sucker must be Adrian's. This sucker is like skinny mini. This had to have been Adrian's. For... All right, day one of practice. That was it, and it was a uh, it was a grind. And you know, looking at what happened today, I caught a few fish out, like in that five to ten foot zone. Then I caught a few fish, ultimately up shallow. And so, I, but I never really got. This is the thing. It, it, it's all about that two or better pound minimum. So you have to get enough two plus pound bites. Then you have to have to generate those big bites. Like I had, I had an eight pounder that come off. Y'all probably seen that big giant one. And then I had some other big bites. So that's really what it all comes down to. You know, it, it's it's finding the quality bite that's going to put you forward. I don't know what the weight cut weight's going to be. Definitely feel like this weather jacked it up a little bit, but we got to find them. This is Raber. This place is the, one of the best, probably the best place fishery in Texas. One of the best. Top, uh, top five. Top three. Top two. I don't know. It's definitely really good. We're going to have to catch them. So that's why you guys see me literally re rigging, getting all this stuff together, getting gas, and uh, regroup, try to get out for tomorrow. Day two of practice, we're about to start. And somehow, I don't know, you know, I was in a lot of shallow water yesterday, so I would run in, I'd shut down, and water would come in the back of the boat. Um, and that over the splash and splash in. And somehow my like drain for my back compartment got like clogged, basically like where I put some of my tackle. So yeah, it was all full of water. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I enjoy it, man. All right, guys, we are out here, Sam Raven Reservoir, Saturday. There's a lot of boats on the water, and I want to take a quick minute to shout out all the high school anglers out there that are competing today. I think there's 300-something teams. It's so awesome to see high school fishing growing. It's something that's really cool, and Texas is probably the forefront of it all. They've really done a great job with their program. Now, I guess these kids, because there's so many teams, it's, it's a trailer weigh in okay so they can go to their spot and they start i believe it's 6 30 7 30 somewhere in there is what i believe that's right i heard um so they'll drop in they'll fish and then they'll go to one location and then ultimately weigh those fish in so pretty cool deal it's really cool to see the future of our sport out here competing um on such a great lake now it is pretty chilly this morning you can tell i got the got the the magellan fleece hoodie going on right now and uh gonna sort of try to stay out like a couple of these guys way because I mean, I'm talking, I'll show you guys right now. Boats. Well, y'all can't really see the boat right there. There's like four boats over that way. It's like seven boats right now, so we're gonna probably try to sort of skis around, stay out of these guys' way. Hopefully, they can catch a few fish today. Jackson, not a keeper or not a two pounder for sure.
That was a freaking big and son. I'm talking about an eight, six, seven, eight pounder. Holy smokes on nothing now. I mean like on not I might have to go swimming jig around some of this stuff. God that was a big one, dude. It's a freaking big one. Well, we tried, Brody. I thought it was a good idea. And it is. We got done with it. That's it. Practice is done. We got uh, 25 minutes to get in. Oh, we're going to hodgepodge. That is the word for this week. I don't know sort of what's going to transpire. I'm going to fish deep. I'm going to fish shallow. I'm fish in between. We're going to see how it goes. Let the fish tell us what they want. Let's try to get out of here without knocking our motor off. That'd be ideal. You know, there's 500 boats out there. More than that. On the whole pond? Thousand. Easy. Look, you know, there's another tournament today, too. The high school tournament, that was 300 something. Then there was another tournament out of Castle Boykin, Outlaw, something or another. It okay. took me. I gotta look that up to see what one. It took me 40 minutes to launch my boat. Yeah. What are you doing? You must launch that uh, Caney. Caney. That's where most of them went out of. Yeah. Crazy, man. It was nuts. It was, ev listen, <laughs> listen, I, I got stuck on the bridge this morning because I made it, I went too far. Yeah. It's my turn, went over the bridge. They're doing construction, it took me like 15 minutes. Well, while I'm sitting at the bridge, pitch black dark, mm -hmm. bro, it was boats running everywhere in the night. Holy was, crap. Yeah, in the nighttime. I was like, what? So them high schoolers, I'm guessing they can trailer because they're- Yeah, they're, they can trailer. Okay. Yeah, uh-huh. They can trailer. Yeah, man. I really don't know. I don't know how this thing's gonna shake out. Yeah, got no clue. Yeah. Need me some cookies, dude. I'm freaking. I'm beat up. I'm beat up. Well, all right, y'all. We just got finished up rigging tackle. I got like literally everything rigged up. I don't know if you all can see that. Like literally a box full, full. Abroad, so hey, we're gonna go. I don't know, hodgepodge around that is the term for this week. Hodgepodge, shallow, deep, in between. Try to catch a good, solid bass. I think the thing is, from what I've seen to practice for myself, is it's not about quantity, it's about quality. Um, catching quality fish is gonna be the name of the game this week, and each time you sort of look at things. Because the 16 inch fish right here, right now, um, most of those fish that are up actually weigh under the two pound minimum, which you've seen that in the practice vlog. So 
that's really the thought and the process of what I'm trying to figure out is how do I catch this three, four or five pound fish? And I'm gonna utilize score tracker big time to my advantage, hopefully to allow me to understand exactly what I'm gonna be going, you know, dealing with. And, and that's a lot of what the strategy goes into this game is understanding when to move. You know, if I, if I get up this mor tomorrow morning and I'm running around in the first period, things pop off, I'm gonna have to make an adjustment potentially if I can't get it going on the stuff that I decide. So, regardless, I ran around a lot, I covered a lot of water, I eliminated a lot of water, um, and I will fish new water in the tournament, new patterns, new techniques. Um, things are warming up, so we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna leave you guys right here. Thank you so much for watching the video. We truly appreciate each and every one of you. And that's it, practice is done, derby, video will be next. We'll see you guys on the next one.